they weren't a better team than us. Uh, but hands down, we, we kicked their ass on the field. Like, there's no doubt about it. But my mistakes is what what what, uh, what took us down at the end. So. Well, the last one wasn't necessarily your fault, but um, did did it, did the ball hit Brandon or did it hit a defender and then Brandon? Or did he, uh, I, I didn't see, like, what exactly it hit first. I just saw that it got popped up in there. Is it in a, in a agonizing way? Does this game kind of typify the way a lot of the season's gone? I mean, you guys played with the other team, if not outplayed them, like you said. I think a lot of people probably feel that way. Um, yeah. Do you think? Yeah, I think, I, I think the whole season's gone that way. Uh, the, there's a lot of teams in this in this conference that uh, they're good teams, but we know how good we are, and we 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 were better than a lot of teams. We just didn't show it. Uh, which, but then again, at the same time, it comes down to showing it on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. you can call it what you want, but uh, this isn't the way we wanted to finish. When you guys were down 34-17, it didn't seem like you guys were really showing any panic on the offense. I mean, what did y'all talk about on the sideline uh, to kind of get you guys back in the game? Uh, really nothing in particular, just uh, that each time uh, we couldn't sell for anything less than a touchdown. Uh, I mean, there still were well, there still were a few drives we went three and out, but uh, for the most part, we uh, well, the, we we couldn't we couldn't panic and uh, overdo it too much. We just had to uh, stay calm and uh, just keep playing playing our football. On the play where uh, uh, Trayvon got hit uh, by Dixon, what what did you see on that play, and and what was Trayvon Mike on the sideline after that? I didn't see it at all because I got rocked as well on that play. So I was on the ground and then I heard a big ooh from the crowd and all of that. But uh, he, he, he told me uh, what kind of happened. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's just one of those things that happens. <laughs> on the short interception, the, like the little dump pass, um, what, what happened on that play? Because it wasn't clear. Uh, who were you uh, intending uh, it? It was just a little confusion uh, on my end. Uh, I thought they were doing something that they weren't, and then they they bailed out of it. They mm -hmm. were just bluffing. So, but uh, that was 100% my, my mistake, my, my, my fault. The offensive line has taken some pretty bad criticism this year. What did you think of their performance tonight? It didn't seem like you got hit a whole lot when you're passing the ball. I thought they had a great game. Them, the receivers, the running backs, uh, every, everybody had a – well, I thought we all had a great game, uh, but it, it came down to uh, my my three mistakes, my three interceptions that cost us the game. The Baylor offense came into the game pretty much the story, how how many yards they get and how many points they score, but the defense holds them to the, the least amount of yards they've had all year. Uh, what do you think about the way your defense played tonight? Oh, they played amazing, they, just like they do every, every week that, and how they have every week. Uh, I mean – there's really not much more to say. I mean, we, we've seen how they've played all season, and they've kept them, kept us in ball games. But it's it's uh, it was our fault that we didn't push through and uh, win those ball games. We do two more questions, guys. Casey, uh, this being your, your last game, um, what what are the emotions going through your head right now? Uh, if you can take a large view of it, not just this game specifically, but uh, just uh, what kind of impression did I have on the rest of my teammates, and uh, did 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 I show them that whenever things get a little tough, you can't just quit? Uh, that's what I try to do every game, uh, even when things got a little rough, uh, because there, there's a few of them that uh, still still don't uh, have that in them. I feel, but uh, so it just it was one of those things. I was doing my best to lead by example. Maybe one, maybe at times I uh, struggled a little bit just when I when I would get frustrated, but that was something that I had to come over, uh, j just get over uh, mm -hmm. by myself. So uh, really, that's that's really what I really hope to pass on to leave as a legacy. Last question. Yeah, I mean, coming off of everything that you've been through, and just I mean, even though it didn't end the way that you wanted it, uh, what does it mean to you to just leave everything on the field? I mean, that's how you end your career. Uh, well, that, that's how I've been my whole life uh, when it comes to, to playing. Uh, and a, a, everything I've been through, it just 
the this isn't the way I wanted to finish after after going through what I did and then coming back and we, we us having the season we did. That's 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 nothing you want for especially for your senior season. Uh, but it uh it it just happened that way. Thanks, Casey. Thanks, Casey. Thanks man. Seemed like you were uh, especially fired up to play. I mean, senior night. What was what were your thoughts going into this game and during this game that uh, it seemed like really had you flying around out there? Uh, yeah, I mean, you just said it right there. It was senior night. You know, it's my last chance to, to play as a frog and maybe play you know football. So I, you know that that and I was just telling him the crowd was unbelievable tonight. I thought for a team with only four wins, it being Thanksgiving, the support that we had from the, that's how it should be every single week here in Fort Worth because, you know, this this is a small small town. And I, I've seen them do it before, rally around this team, and, and that's what we had tonight. And I mean, that, so, you know, the fans and the fact that it was senior night, that, that's what gave us the energy that we played with tonight. John, how proud uh, are you of the defense tonight? The, the way you guys played, you hold Baylor to the least amount of yards they've had all year. Yeah. That was the story coming into the game, Baylor's high-flying offense, but y'all made them look pretty average. Yeah, I'm, I'm real proud. I think they had two offensive touchdowns, minus the, except for the one that they started on the one yard line. So, you know, we, I don't think we could have done a whole lot better as a defense. And certainly there were things that, you know, mistakes that we made here and there. And they did sustain some drops on us. But like you said, they're, they're a high powered offense. We knew that was going to happen going into the game. Did coach tell you guys it was going to be up to you guys to get pressure on Petty most of the night? With, I mean, because it looked like you and uh, Mike and, and Terrell and those guys all had pretty good game. Rushing, uh, yeah, well, some early throws. a lot of the way they run their offense is about quick throws, but the coverages that we were playing, we knew that he was going to have to hold on to the ball. So, yeah, we did talk about, you know, <coughs> we're not going to put them in a position where they can just dink these little balls off. We're going to have to, we're going to have to get there quick because he's going to have to pull it down or he's going to have to hold on to the ball longer than he usually does. Not trying to make this game about one play, but it seemed like when, when Trayvon went out with, with the, uh, you know, the, the, Targeting penalty. It yeah. seems like you guys got pumped a little life on, on, on the sidelines. Yeah, I mean, when you see one of your teammates go down like that, especially after what I would consider a pretty dirty play, it, it definitely lights a fire under you. Are, are things with with y'all? Is, is Baylor a game that that y'all have not circled, but are, are things typically as kind of chippy and talky as, against Baylor <coughs> in, in years past, or is this year uh, uh, just because of what happened on the field? I don't know. I think fact that both schools are so close and there's a lot of recruits that you know are deciding between here and Baylor and you know I think yeah I think it's you you call it a rivalry game I, I don't like them I know they don't like us <laughs> I'm not gonna get a shot to play them again so let's do two more questions so how, how important was it for you to play the game that you played in your the last time you won frog uh, yeah, I, I mean it feels good but you know, we're still three points short yeah. so I mean I'm, I'm, I'm glad I was able to do what I was able to do tonight and it's just, I'll be I'll be happy about it for you know but when I get a chance to look back I'll be proud of what I was able to do. Does this game kind of typify the season? You guys played with the other team for most of the game, a couple mistakes here and there. Yeah, and just I think so. Uh, to an extent, anyway. I mean, I, I thought we all played them tonight, and like you said, a couple things here and there. That's that was the difference. Thanks, Joe.